Today in Draw My Life, don't film yourself sleeping. <laughs> Danny has always been a fan of paranormal and ghost hunting shows. He loves sitting in front of the television and delving into stories about haunted places. What catches most of his attention are the devices they use to find evidence of paranormal activity. A couple days ago, he found a series on YouTube where a couple of guys investigated unsolved cases and paranormal cases. The guys traveled to places where there were supposed to be ghosts and tried to communicate with them. Danny spent hours watching these videos. That's why he came up with an idea of his own. What would happen if, like these guys in the videos, he were to investigate and find out if there was paranormal activity in his house? What if he left his cell phone while filming all night? And that's what he did. Before going to sleep, he picked up his phone, opened the voice note app, and hit the record button. He left the device on the bedside table and closed his eyes. In the morning, the first thing he did was to listen to the recording, but he couldn't hear anything. So he went to his computer and plugged in his phone. After downloading the audio file, he put on his headphone and searched for the moments where more sound was detected. Suddenly, he heard a voice saying, I see you, I'm watching you, you can't escape. Danny got scared, but something told him that he had to continue his investigation and find out who was there. That night, he decided to go a step further and place the cell phone on his drawers in front of his bed and hit the bottom to film a video. Then he went to sleep. He jumped out of bed with a strange feeling as he was running away from something. He remembered that he had left his cell phone filming and ran to watch the video. The video was five hours long, so he skimmed a bit through it. But the video was so dark he could barely see anything. When he told his friend Nacho what he'd done, Nacho advised him to download the video onto his computer and put a night vision filter on it. In the evening, Danny opened the video on his computer and looked for the filter. Once he had it, he watched the video again. This time, he managed to see his bed and himself sleeping. He screamed through the video for a couple of hours until he noticed a movement. A slim figure was moving around his room with stealthy steps and raised hands. He stopped in front of the bed for a moment and turned his head into the direction of the phone. Danny skipped forward a few seconds, but the figure had disappeared. Suddenly, <coughs> something shook the cell phone and a terrifying face appeared in the foreground on the screen. With the most sinister smile, he said, You better not film yourself asleep again. Have you ever recorded yourself while sleeping? Tell us in the comments, like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.